We're going to look at this first equation. This is what's called a linear equation. We'll talk a little bit more about why that is uh, in coming sections in chapter two. Want to do this problem to review the two tools we have to solve equations. We always have to keep our equation in balance. So to solve this, I want to get an expression I want to get an equation at the bottom that says x equal to a number where I can visually see what the solution is. So first thing we have to do is we have to get the x term by itself. And I will do that by subtracting 7 from both sides. Reason I chose to subtract 7 is you always do the reverse process. We're adding 7 here, so we subtract 7. Now I've done it to both sides, my equation's in balance. I have 2x on this side, the equal sign stays in the middle, and I have 18 on the other side. When there is no sign between an x and a number, we assume it's multiplication. So the reverse process of multiplication is to divide. So I will divide both sides by 2. Now what I have over here is 2 divided by 2 leaves me 1x. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 is our solution, and one of the things that you need to get used to doing in this class is writing your solutions as a set. So we're going to take the 9, we're going to put some squigglies around it, that is our solution set.